Hello you sexy beauties, Zebra here playing Domination on Favela using the Mini Uzi. So yeah, you know, running the Mini Uzi, um, I do like this map. I, ha I have had a lot of nukes on it though, I feel. A lot of videos on, on uh, I put on YouTube um, on this map. Um, and this isn't the greatest video, I'll be honest. Uh, but it's... Um, I've not had a nuke before with the Mini Uzi, it's my first nuke with it. So I always figure it's worth uploading a video with the new gun, even if it is ultra campy like this video is. Um, I'm a complete idiot and I just did a whole commentary um, on this video and forgot to even open up my sound recording program so I just, I've got to do it all again. And now, I hate it both, but this was good. This was probably the best commentary I've ever done. Possibly even the best commentary ever. And just, I didn't press record, I just... I apologise guys, but that was a treat for my ears only apparently. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure at one point uh, some ladies somehow got in my house, they came in my room and they were like, oh hey, you're doing a, a commentary for Call of Duty, let us join in. And uh, you know, we were cracking jokes everywhere, everyone was laughing, there was some tears, there was uh, just, it was emotional, it was a roller coaster of a ride and I wish you guys could have been here to share it with us. But unfortunately, due to my lack of computer knowledge, I, uh, I messed up. But the bright side of that is, uh, I had to re 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 uh, redo this video, and in that process, I noticed that for about about ten minutes of this video, maybe a slight exagger exagger exaggeration, uh, I'm just sitting in a corner of, the, of this of this room, looking from door to roof to door, door to roof to door. I move for about ten seconds, run back to the corner, <laughs> not even ten seconds, I'm, and I'm um, looking back. And um, I'm just sitting there. Uh, so I sped those bits up because they were actually ultra boring. Um, although what I was saying on top was it was worth a listen. But unfortunately, guys, we're never going to see that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was careful not to kill myself on his claim there. And then someone just sniped me, just like, Psh, I see what you're doing there, but I'm going to kill you. Um, I got this video. Um, not dead after but a, a couple of games maybe the next day after using the scar and getting a nuke with that um or maybe i don't know i've been using the scar before this game or something but um when i first started using this mini uzi i really liked it i was like it felt like it had a massive clip especially compared to the scar so you could just hold down the um the trigger and just you know pummel your bullets into people <laughs> like you're not even you're not even penetrating them you just pummel them to death and bullets back up and like ah, it hurts so much please stop uh, whereas with the scar you can just like shoot their little toe and they uh, and they just fall down like oh, please, it hurts so bad please stop um so yeah i just i liked it at first but then it just felt a bit weak uh after a while so i'm kind of glad to be done with it um I haven't done too much camping yet, uh, but in a second, I can see you guys, <laughs> it's about to get sped up. This video, I think, was about 10 minutes long and I cut it down to seven. Um, so, you know, that was like, it was about four four minutes, at least, I was just sitting in this corner. Um, I was, it's nothing to be proud of, <laughs> but um, I was just um, really cowardly. Like, I've got my two claymores set up. I can hear footsteps, I think, or I might have had one of my claymores go off. Um, but yeah, it, it, one of my claymores went off. It, in this doorway, my claymore went off. So I was like, all right, where is... Oh no, okay, not just here. Not just here. I'm telling lies. <laughs> I'm misleading you. I'm being deceptive. Um, but yeah, I was camping up there. And it doesn't get any better here. This is what I was talking about. In a second, my claymore goes off. And I'm like, all right, where is the guy? I go to get him. And then my other claymore that I had set up at those stairs goes off. I'm just like... Right, where is he? <laughs> Where's he gone? I expected him to have run down the stairs and come back up thinking he could get the kill knowing I was here because of the paintball going off. Um, but then I thought, okay, maybe he ran through the door and he's going to loop round on me. So he had to, he's just playing mind games with me. He's like Predator or something. He's just like, he's got me in an absolute state of paranoia. Uh, I was kind of expecting him after about five minutes to just knife me in the back and be like, ha, you fool. I was sitting in this corner the whole time. And you didn't even realise. Um, I'd be like, ah, you idiot. Um, but at last, we get the seventh kill for the Harrier. Um, I hope that was worth it. And I set off a B just because that seemed like that's where the red dots were. Um, also, I, I managed to sort out my audio 
I don't know if you noticed a couple of videos, like two or three of my videos, a couple of videos back. Uh, as my friend so elegantly put it, it sounded like I'd put on record in trash can modes and uh, it was awful. Um, and for some reason, um, my, yeah, my audio was being, my recording, my phone was being ultra sensitive and I was having to stand like on the other side of the room and whisper and it was still picking up my voice like, I can still hear you. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to pick up your whispers and blast them out. I was just like, ah, come on. Um, but I've sorted it through, uh, Magic and witchcraft, um, and hopefully, I don't sound so, so ridiculous anymore. Um, so I get my uh, chocolate left in Harry, I think, and I get the new food the chocolate left. Um, although, there was one guy who on the left here just he starts running towards me, and I'm just like <laughs> screaming down my microphone, like, Get to see! <laughs> Save me! Protect me! Kill the guy that's there! Come on! Um, and somehow, I was just, at this point, I'd given up. I was like, oh, he's so going to get me. Um, some, thankfully, he ran away. I don't know if he didn't go in the building or didn't see me. I have no idea. Um, I was contemplating going outside to where I normally go, but I thought, I don't want to go outside and risk dying anyway. I'm just going to stay and see the building. I don't often do that. I'm calling John Gunner. Uh, hoping because I had 2K more set up that um, they'd hopefully pick off at least one person trying to get in. Um, but just like, these guys have made no effort to shoot down my chopper gunner. I hate to sound cocky, but it does sometimes. Like, as much as I was praying I was going to get the nuke through the chopper gunner, and I was praying they weren't going to shoot it down, sometimes when you're just sitting above their spawn and raining bullets down them, you're just like, yeah, I'm probably going to get my nuke. <laughs> They're just not making any effort to uh, to stop this. And the game is just making it super easy. Um, so... I'm not saying I was thinking that, but you know, I'm sure some of you guys out there probably get that same trailer thought that time. I'm just like, yeah, this probably is happening. Uh, so, quite a few deaths there again. I uh, called out a nuke from being super campy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And check out my channel for more. And blah blah blah. blah, blah. Um, you know, thumbs up, please. That really helps. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers, guys. Oh yeah, on a plus note, I went to see Unknown last night. I thought it was really good, uh, but the guys I was with thought it was rubbish. So what do you guys think if you've seen it?